Hello Tigers, it's Mr. Beerman here with your Tiger update for the week of May 15th. It's hard to believe it, but we have reached what will soon be the last week of e-learning for this school year. Uh, next week we have three more days of e-learning and then that will be the end of the school year for all of us. It's kind of hard to believe that it's been almost two months since any of us have been here at school together. I know that I have been missing all of you, and I'm sure that many of you have been missing us here at school. With the end of time with your class and with e-learning, I'm sure some of you are starting to think about what are you going to do with your free time this summer? And one of my biggest pieces of advice as far as a way to spend your free time in the summer is to read. I know that I love to read and I know that many of you love to read. And so taking the time to pick up a good book is one of the best ways to spend some time in the summertime. So all week long, I asked your teachers and your parents to share pictures of people reading. So, for today's Tiger Update, we are going to be completely focused on reading. I've got pictures of students reading. I've got pictures of teachers with some of their favorite books. Mrs. Andrejack recorded a update for us of some book recommendations. And so, I just wanted to share all of that with you today. I hope you have a great day. Jamaica.com
jamaica.com. with some book recommendations. So if you are into chapter books, you are going to love The One and Only Ivan, written by Katherine Applegate. This book is full of things that just make your heart explode. I cannot tell you too much because I'm afraid I'll give it away. But it gets better because the next book you're gonna love is The One and Only Bob, which is the sequel to The One and Only Ivan. I love a good sequel. If you want a book that warms your heart, gives you hope, and you like animals, these books are for you, for sure. So the next book I wanna recommend is one that I am enjoying reading right now, so I can't tell you too much about it because I wanna give that story up either. So this one is called Finding Orion. So Orion is the main character in the book, but it goes by Ryan. So this book is written by John David Anderson, and he's actually an Indiana author, and I am in love with this book. I cannot wait to finish it. Um, I mean, seriously, this, I'm loving this. So we'll talk later on why I love this book so much. But for now, if you have the, if you can find this book in the library or you can find it online, definitely read it. And if you can, message me on Canvas and we'll talk about it. And then I've got some really, really great picture books that I love. So the first one that I have for you is Turtle's Penguin Day, and oh my goodness, so Turtle gets dressed up like a penguin, like the title suggests, and it is just funny. But what's really awesome is the way that, that his friends and his teacher react when he shows up to school dressed like a penguin. Hmm. This is a really great book. So the next one, hmm. I Will Be Fierce. If you have not read this book, you definitely need to. So part of it goes, today I will be fierce. I will take on the monsters that stand in my way. I will search for the light in the darkness. I will be the hero of my story. So if you happen to see the video that the librarians, the district librarians put together, this was the book that I got, uh, that I pulled it out and I showed it and then I passed it on to the librarian at the other school and she chose the same book. So let me just tell you, if two librarians choose the same book, you know it's good. And the last book that I have for you, and of course you know me, I've got thousands of book recommendations. 
but I can't suggest all of them in one video, right? And so this book is called I Like Myself. And I just, first of all, I love the title. Secondly, I love the illustrations, right? And it just makes me, it, it reminds me actually that that I just need to, to look past those things that, that maybe I pick on about myself, but nobody else notices. And maybe they notice and they think they're the really great things about me, right? There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, I like my nose, I like my fingers, I like my toes. I don't know if I always like my toes, but I need to learn to, right? And so this story is really great because it reminds us to like ourselves for so many more things. There's so many things that, that are out there that we should like about ourselves because let's be honest, we're all pretty fantastic. So those are my six book recommendations. If you need a book or you're looking for another recommendation, just send me a message on Canvas and I'll, re I'll respond to you right away. Thanks, Tigers. Hey Tigers, so I hope you enjoyed getting to see some of the pictures of kids and teachers who have been reading over the past week. I hope you got some cool ideas from Mrs. Onderjack of some books that you like to read. And I just wanted to share with you where I find some of my favorite books. Recently, I have been loving books that come from the Young Hoosier Book Awards list. So if you're trying to find a really good book, if you're not sure what you want to read next and you're wanting to find something, see if your parents can help you find the Young Hoosier Book Awards list. Just type it into Google and it'll take you to a list. There are all kinds of different age ranges and so you can find the list that sounds like it works best for you. And I have been loving the books that are on that list. I just re finished reading uh, The First Rule of Punk which I thought was a really cool book. In fact, I liked it so much that my daughter read it right after me. Um, let's see, I also read Save Me a Seat, which was a really great chapter book. I don't wanna tell you too much about the stories because maybe you'll wanna check them out too, but just think of that as like a place that you can look if you're trying to find a good book. I hope you find a lot of time in the next coming few weeks to do some reading. I want you to know that I miss all of you so much and I can't wait to see you back here at Fishers uh, when you get to um, come back. And I hope you remember it's always a great day to be a tiger.